In this video, we're going to look at rich text defaults, text defaults, and text styles. Along with this video, it is recommended to review our supplementary training materials on the specific rich text and text tools, and the supplementary training material on plan views. Let's begin by talking about rich text defaults. If I come up to the rich text tool, and click to place some text. Notice that it comes in with some predetermined styling information, such as the font, the font size, the font color, the layer the rich text will come in on, and other characteristics. This is because the default settings are using a rich text default with this styling information already determined. Let's take a look at what a rich text default means. If I cancel out of this, and go up to my default settings and go down to text callouts and markers and double click on rich text. Notice that I have a variety of available rich text defaults available to use and my currently active rich text defaults are the plan rich text defaults. The available rich text defaults are unique and purpose built for working on specific tasks. For example, if I was working on an electrical plan, I would want to have my electrical rich text defaults active so that any text I add comes in at my desired settings, such as the font size, the font color, and on the text electrical layer, which can be turned on and off so that the rich text doesn't clutter the screen and potentially get confused with other text we may add. Let's make a very distinctive change to the electrical rich text defaults which will be very noticeable when we use the tool later. So I'm going to change the text color to be a red color. Alternatively, if I was working on a kitchen and bath plan, I would want my kitchen and bath rich text defaults to be active. And if we look at how this is configured, notice that the font size is slightly larger and it comes in on the text kitchen and bath layer. Let's cancel out of this and switch our currently active rich text default to be the plan rich text defaults. Click OK and then get back into the plan. To quickly switch between the currently active rich text defaults, you can switch your plan view. In my top toolbar, you can see that I have the four plan view shell currently active. And if we click on edit active view and go down to the selected defaults, Notice my rich text is the plan rich text defaults. If I cancel out of this and change my plan view to the electrical plan view, you'll notice some layers got turned on and some layers got turned off since layers can be toggled on or off per a plan view. And if we click on edit active view and go down to selected defaults, the selected defaults for the rich text are the electrical rich text defaults. This means that with the electrical plan view active, any rich text that we add to the plan will come in based on these settings, such as the rich text coming in at the desired size and on that red color that we made that change for and on the text electrical layer. Let's practice this in an example. So with my electrical plan view active, I'm gonna click on OK and then select the rich text tool and click once in the plan where I would like to place some rich text. And notice that the text color is the red color I adjusted earlier. When we click on OK, you can see how it got added to the plan. And if we select the rich text, in the bottom status bar, you'll notice that it's on the text electrical layer. If we switch the plan view from the electrical plan view to the kitchen bath plan view, notice our electrical items and text electrical layer got turned off in this plan view and some other layers got turned on. When I use the rich text tool with this plan view active, the rich text will be based on the kitchen and bath rich text defaults. You can see that the text is coming in on the specified height and on the text kitchen and bath layer. And when I click on OK, you can see how it's added to the plan. 
Next, let's take a look at the standard text tool and text styles and see how the default formatting options are different from rich text defaults. With the text tool selected, I'm going to click in my plan to add some text and notice that I don't have any of those formatting options here that the rich text tool had. Instead, if I go to this panel on the left that says textile, you can see under source of textile how this text is initially displayed when it's added to the plan. Here you have three options. The first for the text to follow the textile settings being used for the layer. The second to directly follow the textile as determined in the default settings. And the third to use a custom textile where you can just pick and choose the font, character height, and so forth. This interface, with the three options for controlling the source of how text is displayed and formatted, is present in other textual items in Chief, such as dimensions, schedules, callouts, markers, notes, and more, making it important to be familiar with how to create text styles and manage them. You can see that we are currently using option two to directly follow the text style as determined in the default settings, which leads us to our next question, what is a text style? Let's take a look at this in our default settings. So I'm gonna cancel out of this, go to my default settings, go down to text, callouts and markers, and double click on text styles. Here you can see that we have a handful of available text styles. And if we click on the half inch text style and click on edit, you can see that here's where the formatting characteristics are being determined. Text styles are purpose built for determining how text will appear for a given task. For example, notice that my half inch text style has a two inch character height. Whereas if we cancel out of this, Select the plot pan text style and click on edit. Notice that it has a 30 inch character height, which will be more appropriate if we are zoomed out further and looking at the plan as a whole, we want the text to display larger. If we click on the scale button, you can tell Chief the scale you're gonna be sending this view to layout at, the desired print size, and Chief will calculate the text height needed in this view. Let's cancel out of this and cancel out of our plot plan text style. And as mentioned earlier, you can create text styles and associate them with various objects that display textual information. Let's take a look at a few examples of this starting with our text tool. So I'm going to cancel out of our text styles dialog box and double click on the text tool. And you'll notice that we have several available text defaults, similar to how we had multiple rich text defaults available. If we select the kitchen and bath text defaults and click edit, under the text style panel, here you can see the kitchen and bath text defaults will be using the half inch text style. So when we are in the kitchen and bath plan view, we will be using the kitchen and bath text defaults which is formatted based on the half inch text style. If we cancel out of this and switch to the plot plan text defaults and click on edit and click on the text style panel, you can see that the plot plan text defaults are based on the plot plan text style. So if we were to switch our plan view to the plot plan view, our text tool would be based on the plot plan text defaults which is formatted based on the plot plan text style. Let's cancel out of this and get back into the plan. If we zoom out slightly, down below I have some information that repeats what we just said, but may be easier to read and understand what was just said. So let's review. When we are in the kitchen and bath plan view, we're going to be using the kitchen and bath rich text defaults and kitchen and bath text defaults and the kitchen and bath text defaults is formatted based on the half inch text style. And if we were to switch our plan view to the plot plan view, our plot plan view rich text defaults will be active along with our plot plan text defaults 
which is formatting is based on the plot plan text style. Let's switch our view. And the next thing I want to talk about is how you can assign text styles to layers and use layers to determine the formatting for camera callouts, CAD objects, object labels, and more. If I come up to the text tool and just click once to place some text, and come down to the text style panel, there's an option here that says use layer for text style. When this option is selected, you can tell Chief to display the text based on the text style that is affiliated with the layer. If we click on OK, and then open up our active layer display options, and with our text selected, you can see that it is on the text kitchen and bath layer, and down below the text style affiliated with this layer is the half inch text style. You can change the text style affiliated with this layer here, and when the use layer for text style option is checked inside the text specification, the text will change. This is important for items such as callouts and labels. If I come up to our elevation camera tool and then just click once to place a wall elevation and then let's save this elevation and then close it. Notice that the camera's callout label currently reads as E3. If we select it and click to open the specification and go to the plan display panel, here you can change the callout label that you see displayed. You can also change the callout size and there's a checkbox over here that is checked that says automatic. This setting controls the size of the callout shape, in this case the circular shape. What controls the size of the text inside the callout, that in this case reads as E3, is the layer text style. If we cancel out of this, in our active layer display options, you can see that this camera is on the camera's wall elevation layer, and the textile affiliated with this layer is the half inch textile. If we change this textile to say the quarter inch textile, notice how the text changes and the callout size automatically changes to match the text size. If we were to open up the specification again and go down to the plan display panel on the left, and uncheck the automatic checkbox for the callout size. We can manually input the callout size, but you need to be aware of what callout size you need for the text to sit cleanly inside the callout shape. For the purpose of this example, let's say we inputted our callout size to be eight inches and click OK. You can see here that the text is now protruding past the border of the callout shape. Another example of where the layer is used to determine the text style being used is with object labels. Notice that my cabinets are displaying a call out since I have a cabinet schedule placed in my CAD details. If I select the cabinet, in the active layer display options, you'll notice that there's a layer called cabinet labels. If I select this layer, down below you can see that there is a text style affiliated with this layer, and when I change the text style here, the size of those callouts change in the plan. Same thing with door and window labels. If I select one of these objects and then select the checkbox to display the windows label layer, you can see the window label displayed there and there's a text style affiliated with this layer. And if we change it, the window label changes in the plan. Layer text styles also control how automatically generated CAD information displays. If I zoom out a little bit and go up to my CAD tools and select the rectangular polyline CAD tool and click and draw a rectangular polyline, double click to open it up. On the line style panel, there's an option here that says show length and show angle. With those check boxes marked, if I click on OK, you can now see the length and angle of each side of this CAD polyline. This textual information is formatted based on the textile affiliated with the layer. If I select the CAD box, notice that it's on the CAD kitchen and bath layer, and down below the textile is using the half inch textile. And if I were to switch it, the size of this information is going to change. 
Let's go ahead and switch this back so that it's using the half inch textile. And then same thing with our cabinet labels. Let's select the cabinet, select the cabinet labels layer, and change the textile affiliate with this layer back to the half inch textile. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is if you make a change to a textile, it'll affect everywhere that textile is used in the plan. Recall that both this CAD polyline and our cabinet labels layer is using the half inch textile. If I select one of these items and then go down to the textile option and click on define and then click on edit. If I were to make a change to our half inch textile, it would affect both the information in our CAD box and our cabinet labels since they are both determining their text information based on the layer and the layer is using the half inch textile. As a quick example, let's just check the underline checkbox and then click on OK and then OK again. And you can see now how everything using that half inch textile is now underlined. And that's going to conclude this video.